All right, guys. Welcome to my new series. Go away, FPS counter. <laughs> so I'm going to be replaying my first ever video game, which is uh, Pac-Man World 2. And despite how many times I've played this game, I've never actually 100%ed it. I've gotten close a few times. Like, I think I got to, like, um... What's it called? I've gotten, like, maybe, like, 170 of, like, the tokens or something. Something close to that. But, yeah. I've never actually gotten all the tokens, which is, um... Crazy, because I've been playing this game for 20 years. Well, not exactly 20, it's more like... Actually, I think it is 20, yeah. Because I started playing this game in, like, 2004, 2005 or so. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh... I, I did just have a test file to make sure the game ran, so... I, uh, I did do that. I'm just gonna overwrite that. And, uh, I'm not gonna watch the cutscenes, because, uh... I've played this game a million times... If you really care about the story, it's on YouTube, probably. <laughs> but, yeah. This game is, like, as nostalgic as it gets for me. Next to, like, TTYD. Now, TTYD is my first video game. But it is my favorite. But this game is my, like, actual first video game. And it's definitely up there in my top games. So I have, a, I have a funny story about when I was trying to run this game last night. <laughs> so I have a, I have a program called um, AMD uh, Radeon Adrenaline Edition. <laughs> and for some reason I can't get on top of this house. <laughs> so basically, oh. Yeah, the, yeah, the physics in this game are kind of janky. <laughs> It'll take a bit of getting used to again. So... I tried to... So, I, I was running this game, and I noticed it was only running in, like... It was only running in, like, 60... It wasn't running at, like, the, the, the full 60 FPS that it's supposed to. For some reason, it was only running at, like... 40? It was, like, it was weird. I was like, there's no way this game runs at 40. Because <laughs> that, would, that would be weird. I, I, noticed, I noticed that kind of stuff. And... I tried, uh, I tried booting the game again, and I was looking at my, uh, my AMD Adrenaline Edition. And I noticed I have this, I had this weird setting on. And basically what it did was it limited my FPS. Now, I thought that would be a good thing, right? Because, you know, I, I basically don't want, um, I don't want programs to run more than 60 FPS. Because my, uh, my refresh rate is only, like, 59 and since I only have a 59 refresh rate, uh, I don't- I can't see- my- I can't physically see more than 60 frames on this TV anyway. Right? So, yeah, that, that sounded normal to me. And also, it took me the longest time to figure out how to get on top of this house. You have to grab this freaking telescope, it's weird. There's a lot of we there's a lot of just weird things in this first level. There's that token up there. So yeah, uh, to 100% this game, you have to get literally everything. You have to get every, uh, every token, you have to get every fruit, every pack dot. Which isn't so bad for the first, like, two worlds. But after the second world, that's when it kind of gets a bit tricky. So... That's kind of what I'm worried about. Like, I'm not really worried about these first few levels. I, ca I can honestly deal with these first few levels just fine. And the camera is a little, a little janky. <laughs> you kind of, you kind of get used to it, though. I saw there was like a token above one of those trees. I think I was, see, I think I was looking at something else. I'll get up there eventually. <laughs> oh yeah, this is like your this is like a little tutorial area. 
they, they show that in the opening, if you pay attention. Where it's like, hey, here's a pack dot, here's a life, here's a token, you know, all, all that good stuff that you need. <laughs> but it, it, it could take a little while to get everything in this game. I'm gonna... I know you can get on top of these houses. But it's kind of it's kind of tough. <laughs> so yeah, since I can only see up to 60 frames on this monitor slash TV of mine, I was just thinking like it would just be more demanding on my PC and nothing else if I was a if if I had it set to display more than you know more than 60 frames. And I'm eating shit. <laughs> mean shit again. Yeah, it, the getting on those last few houses is really specific. <laughs> it's funny, I got a DM from Elijah last night before I was about to go to bed. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, what is Pac-Man World 2? Oh, nah, that didn't go well. <laughs> and I was like, it's a peak game. And I just sent him a screenshot of me testing it out. Bro, why can I not get on top of this fucking house? I mean, like, the, I mean, like, the hardest part of this whole level is getting on top of the damn houses. See? You can just barely get up from- you can barely get up there. Yeah, you see all those fruits up there that I can't get to? I have to- I have to do some crazy-ass platforming from these houses. Because you have to get on top of this thing. You have to rev roll. And then you have to rev roll onto this house. <laughs> and then you have to do another rev roll from this house up here. And that's that's also tough. <laughs> I think you can actually bounce up here, though. Yeah. They put this rock here for a reason. And this little flower bush thing. The problem is the houses are extremely slippery, so it's really hard to get on top of them. There you go. And then... I think I got everything in this level. Thing is, is you can't really see what's in a level until you are actually in the level. But I think that's it. I think that's everything we got in this level. I love how whenever you beat a level, Pac-Man just, like, walks off. <laughs> yep, okay, looks like 100% at the first level. By the way, it was, um, it was really tempting to play the PS2 version of this game, because I've actually never played the PS2 version. And I heard that the PS2 version of this game is harder. And I've, I've heard about that for a long time, because I knew that, like, specific versions of this game, like, the earliest versions of this game, is, like, harder. A good example I'll show off right here. Ghosts only damage you. But in the original PS2 release, ghosts actually instantly kill you. And there is foot there is footage of that online. And I was really tempted to play that version. <laughs> so I, I was thinking to myself, like, what do I do? Do I play the PS2 version because it's harder and it'll give me a fresher experience? Or do I play the GameCube version because that's what I grew up with and I'm nostalgic for? So I I ended up just going with the GameCube version, because I think it'll probably be overall a more fun experience. Because while the PS2 version is harder, it also has a lot of, like, it's a lot more buggy because it's the first revision. And I, I don't know, I don't know if I want to deal with a slightly buggier version of Pac World 2. Oh yeah, this is like your actual, your actual tutorial level. The first level was more like a hub. The hub world is good though, we'll, we'll be coming back to that every now and then. 
Oh yeah, the butt bounce. <laughs> I love what they call it that. It's, it's for that it's for that reason that um I always call ground pounds butt bounces as a kid. Like I remember playing I remember playing Mario and I was like, oh hey look Mario's doing a butt bounce. <laughs> Even though he doesn't do the bounce, he just ground pounds. Cause that's the that's the cool thing about um that's the cool thing about this game is your ground pound basic it's it's actually kind of similar to what they they would eventually do in Mario Odyssey where you ground pound and then you jump back up. This game kind of started that. <laughs> I also just really like this game's soundtrack. <laughs> that definitely adds to the nostalgia. Because... This game kind of goes for, like... What do you call it? It's like a more orchestral feel to it. Which I really like. Yeah, look how many freaking pack dots are in this level. I forget which level has the most pack dots. I think it's the final level, and I think at the final level has like 535 pack dots or something, which is a lot, by the way. <laughs> 534 pack dots is definitely a lot. But this game's gonna start out like extremely easy. Like, like I was saying, it really doesn't get bad until like the final levels. <laughs> uh, like halfway through the game, I think is like kind of the hard part. Like, I'm not looking forward to the snow levels that much. Not really looking forward to the lava levels or the water levels. The water levels are definitely also going to be, like, kind of, um... What do you call it? Like, the low point of the game? Oh yeah, it's also showing that you can use keys. And you can get, um... You can walk on spikes with this. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do under under the water. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a token under this boat. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I don't remember if there's anything else under here under the water. Oh right, you get like a swimming camera. I forgot th I forgot there was swimming in this game because you don't really do it all that much. All right, let's see. Did I get all the pack dots? Yep. And there's some bears. So I have 17 tokens. Yeah, that that's that's correct. I need to be keeping track of my um. Maybe keep track of how many tokens I have. Because there's eight in each level. Which also adds to the 100% factor. Oh yeah. You'll also notice there are bonus tokens in each level. The, the exception, of course, is this level, which only has nine tokens. But otherwise, every single level has ten tokens. Except for bosses. Bosses don't have, uh, they don't have, uh, bonus tokens or tokens at all. Look well, yeah, at 327 pack dots. That's a lot. This one only has 142. And I don't remember how much this is. It doesn't tell you the collectibles until you beat it. So, you kind of just have to figure that out. But, yeah, so every level has a time trial. And, I mean, they don't start out bad. Time trials are chill. But, let's see if I can get this. That, that went pretty badly. So you basically want, I think like the idea of like speed running is you want to rev roll as much as possible. Oh, that doesn't count as a, uh, doesn't count. On oh, the timer still goes when you're, uh, you're doing that. Ideally, you'd want to um, pause the timer as much as possible. Oh, 
Oh, I want to get that time. I want to get that clock. Okay, maybe it's not worth it. I don't know if I'm going to get it in time. We got it. 41 seconds. Waka waka. At least it's not waku waku. <laughs> like Anya says in fucking Tomodachi life. So that, I mean, that's an easy time trial, though. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go for them whenever I can. Unless it's like a level I really hate. <laughs> So there's the, here's this level. This is where the challenge kind of kind of it goes up a little bit because there's a lot of um, bottomless pits in this level. But yeah, I've played I've played this level a crap ton as well as a kid. Oh yeah, and also another thing, um, sometimes jumping, you don't always get all the pack dots because of how awkwardly you jump in this game. There's another thing you just kind of have to get used to. And also, also every 50 pack dots, you get an extra, like, piece of health. Which, <laughs> wouldn't mind if more games did that, honestly. You know. Giving you, uh, a bunch of health every time you get one-ups and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna save that checkpoint. Or actually, actually no, I'm gonna grab the checkpoint, and yet you'll see why in a sec. So there's this guy, and to kill him, you have to roll into him three times. Yeah, <laughs> there's like there's like a big guy. Oh, sometimes you can't roll into him though. There we go. Okay, so if you kill this guy, he turns into a Galaxian. And this is the first level that has a Galaxian. And every, um... Every level has one of these. You basically have to do, like, a classic pack maze. Which is kind of cool. And I mean, these aren't, like, too special. They're just kind of, they're just kind of little neat things you can do to get, uh, extra 100%. Yes, extra 100%. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> sure, I'll go for the cherry as well. Because why not? Also, I don't, I, I don't play too much Pac-Man, but... I am kind of wondering if the ghost AI is any similar to it is in the um, arcade version. And hello, chat member. Because, um... From what I remember with how Pac-Man works... Um... In the mazes... Usually, um... Clyde, he likes to, you know, kind of do his own thing, and he doesn't like to go after you. He's just kind of there. <laughs> And then, I think, like, it's, it's mostly, like, Blinky and Pinky that mostly come after you. Anyways, the reason why I got the checkpoint earlier is if you get the Galaxian, you get a checkpoint. So the Galaxian also acts as a checkpoint if you do the maze. I don't remember what happens if you fail the maze, though. That's what I'm kind of worried about. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, there's a token over there. I think I remember how to get there. I think there's like a button I gotta press somewhere. I forget where though. I think it's later in the level. <laughs> the ghosts aren't actually named Blinky, Pinky, and Inky and Clyde. Um, I mean that's kind of true. I mean they have like code names. Oh yeah, see if you do if you go here, you get a bunch of packed odds and a token. Yeah, like I think Blinky's name is like Shadow or something weird. <laughs> he he has like a like that like 
Blinky is just the code name, I think. But since nobody's gonna remember their actual names, we just go with that. Oh, by the way, um, there's this, there's this weird ghost. I don't know what his deal is, but there's only one of this guy in the whole game. I don't even know what he's holding. Like, I think he's holding, like, a blunderbuss or something weird. But yeah, that's the only ghost of that type in the game. There, he's, he shows up here, and that's it. I don't know why. <laughs> I always wonder why he doesn't show up anywhere else. But, yeah. Oh, weird-ass camera change there. We got another token here. Oh, not what I meant to do. I'm trying to, um... Kind of jump back. Oh, also there's fall damage in this game. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> I always seem to miss one pack dot. Alright, so we got all the oranges. You gotta do like a tight jump here. You got all cherries, all melons, all strawberries. And I think that's everything. And that's the level. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that, that there's that shrink pellet. That only shows up like two times in the whole game. And one of them's optional. <laughs> It's weird. They don't. They don't. It never shows up ever again after that. Okay. Well, I got um. I got the bonus token, so I got everything in that level. Getting 100% of these first three levels is pretty piss easy, though. And the time trials are pretty quick too. We so just want to keep, uh, keep getting the, t the clocks. Yeah, if you can just keep getting all the clocks, then you won't have to worry too much. pretty easy. <laughs> These time trials are a lot more generous than I remembered. Well, maybe that's just because I've gotten better at this game. So look at that, we already got 29 tokens. And we have these funny little beetles. I think you can get up there. I think you gotta grab this. Then you can platform back here. By the way, I was talking to Gonzito last night. And, um... I told him... I, he, he said he like just hasn't been in the mood for, um... He has not been in the mood for, um, what you call it... Uh, newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. And it's just kind of a shame because, you know, I started, we started that series with him and, you know, I guess, I guess just recently, I guess he's kind of felt like he's been kind of forced to play it. And I guess I see why now he doesn't really like actually want to play that game and he'd rather just play, um, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 instead. <laughs> also, these cherries are kind of obscure. I'm gonna get all these fruits. All the fruit. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's been having way more fun playing Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and, um, Super Smash Bros. Universe. I mean, I guess that's, that's cool, you know? So I talked to him, and he says he actually wants to start, um... He actually wants to start Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze with me. That's something he, would, he actually does want to play. 
And since I'm recently able to um, emulate Switch games on my computer, I figured like, hey, that would be a great idea. We should we should totally uh, play that game. So I downloaded it last night, and that might be something we end up playing. We might end up actually playing uh, Tropical Freeze, which I've never actually played before. So that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, we activate, like, all these switches. There's, like, there's a crap ton of switches everywhere. Oh, yeah, if I remember correctly, I think if you... I think you only get one shot at this. Oh, <laughs> prepare for maze. I forgot that was down there. And so I, was, and so I messaged him today, and I was like, Well, do you just want to, you know, not show up for newer Super Mario Bros. Wii anymore. And I think he said, like, yeah, it's cool, you know, you can do newer Super Mario Bros. Wii without me. Even though he was there for most of the series, I think, um, I think this is a case where I think it'd be fine if we just kind of continue without him, because otherwise, oh, hey, when that happens. <laughs> Because otherwise, if, if we just kind of try and wait on Gunsido to play newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, that series is just never going to end. And it's already bad enough that we've kind of let that series go, like, on ongoing for, like, a few years. So, I just want to kind of get it done with at some point. So, I'm thinking at some point, me and the boys, we're just going to play that. Don't want to get a. Uh, that's like that's like the worst thing I can have is when Blinky and Pinky just close in on you. <laughs> you do def you definitely do not want that to happen. Oh boy, that was a close one. Okay, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> there we go. So I'm thinking maybe sometime next week, I don't know, some, one of these weeks, um, I think I'm gonna ask me and the boys, we're gonna play newer, Su we're gonna play newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, without Gansita, because we've only... Uh, I don't know, I kind of made up this, like, this fake rule that, like, he has to be in every episode, but since he doesn't seem interested in finishing it, I think I'm just going to, um, we're just going to finish it without him. <laughs> At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, we got another checkpoint. Oh yeah, here's, uh, here's the janky rev roll. I just watched a video before um, playing this game. Uh, some guy, he said Pac-Man World 2 isn't as good as you remember. Which, um, it's more, it's, it's, it, the title is just kind of, you know, one of those, like, kind of, you got, you want to click on it kind of videos. The video is more about just kind of saying how, like, how flawed the game is, which I get it. This game is flawed. It's not perfect. And I do agree with that. But even though the game is flawed, I still have a lot of fun with it. So I don't really care that the game is flawed. <laughs> I just I just have fun with it anyways. So I think I have everything in this level. That looks correct to me. Honestly, the one thing I think this game would definitely benefit from is... Um, like, an actual scoring system inside the level. I mean, obviously, you can see I 100 percent it, but if you didn't know what how many fruits are in a level, then, um, you know, it'd be hard to keep track of. I mean, you're gonna have to replay the level anyways for the time trial, but still, it, you know, having to do a third playthrough, that would just be a bit much, I think. <laughs> Oh yeah, we 
have um, this part. I want to make this cycle as well. I guess we'll see. Oh wow, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> I guess we'll see if I make the timer or not. Come on, get up there. What was the time? What was the time trial for this level? I don't think I got it. <laughs> oh, wait, what was the time trial for that? Also, I like how the font changes color even when you like when you get the clock. <laughs> was it like 35 seconds or something? I guess we won't know because I got it. Anyways, that was world one in like half an hour. <laughs> Not bad, honestly. Anyways, we have Funi Frog. Unfortunately, it's not Suwako, but that's okay. We have a Funny Frog. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Oof. Getting some frame drops. Why am I dropping frames? <laughs> well, is this frog real? Is this frog really too demanding? <laughs> one kind, one little problem I have with this game, and I think it's a lot. It's a problem that a lot of people bring up, maybe, is um, I kind of wish more of the bosses were original. Because you have like a cool ass robot frog for the first boss. And then you know then you know you have Inky's, you know, Blade Omatic, which is fine. But then they repeat that boss three times. <laughs> and I always wonder, like, why does Clyde get a unique boss, but then everybody else gets the same dumbass mech? <laughs> I don't know. I never really liked that. But at least you get the unique underwater boss. And then, you know, you get the final boss, which is also unique. So, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Also, I see something up there. Wow. kind of forgot there's a token up here. Is there anything up there? I don't even think you can get up there. Yeah, so this this level is pretty this level is pretty cool. I always really liked this world just because of the bouncy pads. Which are actually actually they are actually ripped straight out of Pac-Man World 1. These bouncy pads are in are in that game. And they make a they make a return in this game. And I'd argue they're even more fun in this game. And that's the thing. I was actually going to do a playthrough of Pac-Man World Repack, but I decided to do this game first because I'm more familiar with this game and I, I wanted to play it on my channel someday. And I think, you know, now would be a great time to do it. Oh yeah, another thing that another thing that the the P original PS2 version of this game did. At the very start of the level, there's no net. So they made it just slightly harder, but they gave you a, f they gave you like, um, like kind of a freebie and they let you test it out. Also, I forgot how nice this background is. Look, you can kind of see like Pac Village in the background. Yeah, so I gotta go all the way down there for that switch. I mean, it should be pretty easy to get down there. Can't get that. Oh yeah, there's like your little shortcut back down there. 
How do I get how do I get down there safely? We're gonna do this. And you get some pack dots to go back up for free. This is just kind of like a cool spectacle to see like the level. Oh, you got a checkpoint too. Okay, you can also see a life up there. And we got a Galaxian. So a checkpoint after a checkpoint. <laughs> They're a lot more generous with the checkpoints than I remember. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I don't know, people said this game hasn't held up graphically well, but I don't know, I, I still think this game looks nice for what it is. I mean, I also still need to play uh, Repack. Which, yeah, I have that- I have that game on Steam, so I can play it whenever I want, and I'm thinking I might do that- do a playthrough of that. Uh, maybe after this Let's Play, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Alright, now for, like, the tough part of the maze. <laughs> Getting all these little stray pack dots that I left behind. That's- that's the annoying part. Okay, well... It's nice when never the ghosts leave me alone. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh, that could have ended badly. <laughs> and yes, I am using I mean I am using a widescreen patch for this game. I think I, mean, I think it makes the game look a lot nicer. I mean any any widescreen patch is always nice though. I try to I try to get widescreen patches for damn well every game I play. Oh boy. Yeah, shit like that can happen. Oh boy. <laughs> well, very clutch. I think these are the last ones. There we go. I mean, even if you do die, even if you do die, you get like three lives, so it's not that bad. Oh, thanks, Beetle, for showing back up. So I think this is everything. Oh, yeah, by the way, guess what? We have another checkpoint. <laughs> they just like they're just handing out checkpoints for free. I swear. I don't remember there being that many, but color me surprised, I guess. There's also a, an extra life here, and a token. Oh boy, I almost fell. <laughs> I was saying oh boy a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh yeah, that's another weird little physic. If you jump off a if you jump off a box, you fall really slowly. <laughs> I don't know why I really like that for some reason. It's very satisfying to do. You just get a crap ton of tokens for free here. <laughs> Look at all the apples. I got all the apples. Hey apple. Right, there's just like four free tokens here. I didn't realize there were that many. I think that's everything here. Oh yeah, there's these funny ghosts that shoot blow darts. So for some reason... They decided to, um, replace a lot of the ghosts in the game. Uh, how do I say it? 
In the ja okay, in the Japanese version specifically, for some reason the Japanese version of this game is easier. <laughs> I don't know why. Th they made the Japanese version slightly easier by adding like a few extra platforms, removing enemies and such. Which is a really weird change. I don't know why they made the Japanese version easier. But, for example, they replaced the ghosts in this final section with regular ghosts. I don't know why they did that. Feels very weird. <laughs> kind of an arbitrary change. <laughs> Come on, get back here. It's not every day you see um, Japanese versions of games being easier. Okay, well, there we go, all pack dots. I'm just enjoying my tea this morning. So the time trial is one minute and one one minute and eleven seconds. Oof. Pause there for a second. And apparently, right, apparently there's a part where you can rev roll and skip part of the level. I forget where it, I forget where it is, though. I forget where you skip the level. I saw it in a speed run. <laughs> where, um, you just roll off a random part and do, like, a leap of faith. And you skip some of the level somehow. <laughs> I just don't remember where that is. I gotta find it. Well, it's not here, I can tell you that. Is it right here? No, <laughs> that is not where it is. I don't, know, I don't know if I should be doing the speedrun strat or not. Or if I should just play the level normally. <laughs> I didn't even realize there's a four clock there. There's definitely a place where you can roll. Is it right here? Nope. <laughs> okay, I might not do the speedrun strat then, because I don't know. I don't I haven't done it before. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that, actually. <laughs> wow, Dolphin's using a lot of GPU. You know, it's probably because I'm using, like, a crap ton of, uh, filtering. <laughs> Notice how I turn on anastropic filtering? It kind of makes the, uh... Makes, it, it, it's a lot more demanding, right? I'm gonna lower that. <laughs> Because even though it looks slightly nicer, it's not really worth it, because it kind of tanks my frame rate a bit. Alright, there we go. Much better. Much, much smoother. Because I, I, was, I, I was noticing some frame drops. Oh. Mm -hmm. By the way, there is a lives grinding spot in this game that I used a lot as a kid, and I'll be showing that off too. Hmm, I wonder if it's even worth it to go for the four, four seconds. Because it's so specific to get. Oh 
Oh yeah, yeah. That that, so that would have been where you did the the skip. You just get to go in. You just get to go through this for free. There's just a crap ton of clocks. Funny noises you guys got there. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, I got hit. Pac-Man turned around and he died. <laughs> what the fuck? That was not that was not cool. I don't know why it's so hard to grab these damn clocks. where it was where was the um it was like it was like right here wasn't it you have to like kind of do like a slightly blind roll no it's not there where the fuck was it i'm gonna lose all my lives trying to do this damn skip just because it's cool man it's cool You know, the thing is, you can't, like, the camera doesn't want to cooperate with you here. Yeah, I see the, I see the bounce pad that you're supposed to jump to. I hate, hate the how the camera acts there. I might just, I'm just gonna walk through this thing. I don't feel like dealing with uh, these guys. I'm just gonna take my win instead of going slow. I didn't realize if you get hit there, you just roll off the stage. <laughs> yeah, like I said, these first, like, like, the first two worlds are piss easy, and then it just randomly gets a lot harder. With World 3 and onward. But yeah, you'll see now that the, um, the once nice grassy skybox is gone. I really like this world, though, because it kind of tells a little story where it kind of, like, it goes from daytime to nighttime. So, like, this is, like, the, you know, kind of the, uh, I guess, sunset portion. So, it's, like, not completely dark yet, but it's, it's still pretty dark. Oh, boy. I'm trying to, trying to grab this ledge. Grabbing ledges is a little picky in this game. Oh, I love how you can hear the saw blades. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and having the game in widescreen might make it a little easier to see things that I wouldn't have seen normally. Because sometimes they like to hide they like to hide um goodies off screen and stuff. Just every now and then. And I swear, there was, like, this one level that I couldn't fucking figure out how to 100% it for the life of me. I think it was, like, the second to last final level. The second to last final level has, like, like the most obscure fruit ever. <laughs> I swear. Oh, and there's also some springs there. They just kind of spawned in randomly. <laughs> But yeah, this, this world, I think, makes really good use of its mechanic. I mean, other worlds, you know, have their own mechanics, too, but... This one, in particular, makes good use of it. 
is because the springs are so fun to use. Oh boy. <laughs> like, I'll stop saying, oh boy. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I guess I see why they got rid of those blow dart ghosts in the Japanese version now, huh? Because they fuck with your um, on their, they fuck with your time trial run, and nothing else. Come here. And it looks like you get an extra life. You get an extra life for um, twenty five thousand points. That's what it looked like. The music in this game is a masterpiece, really. There, yeah, let's get this. I don't know what this bouncy pad is for. I kind of want to see what it does. Oh, it just bounces you forward. Well, what's the point of that, then? <laughs> to be fast, I guess? It's the only thing I could think of. Oh, there's another token up here. So now you can either go left or right. I don't remember which way is the correct way. I think this is the correct way. Why? What the fuck? Why are there two different directions? Which way has the goal? I think this is the optimal path. Oh boy. Don't push me out, bro. Well, I don't know. I, I really don't know which way is correct. I think this is the correct way, because I had a checkpoint. Hmm. <laughs> but that way also has a token. Oh wait, there, yeah, there's a spring there. So I think this I think this is the correct way. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I almost died. So I almost fucking died from that. So that, that was some janky physics, wasn't it? So let's go this way this time. This is a checkpoint with um another thing. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Or Pac-Man eats the pack dots while he's he's climbing. Another token here. That one's kind of hard to get. <laughs> oh, this is the end of the level, actually. I went the right way this time. Okay, I'm gonna go this way then. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm, I'm going somewhere. I'm definitely going somewhere. Oh, there's another checkpoint here. Yeah, this takes me back. It's so this takes me so far back in the level. What the hell? <laughs> All of that for a token. I don't, I don't even want to think about what happens if you die here. I don't think checkpoints respawn at all, so... That's kind of nasty. Yeah, I think, I think it's nice to have this, this series going. Because I, I know for sure, I know for sure Pac-Man World 2 won't be a very long game. I mean, yeah, sure, it might take me a while to get some of the some of the collectibles. But that's about it, I think. That's like the only real trouble. Oh yeah, this is where the Galaxian is. And I think if I if I fall here, I can Oh. That counts as fall damage. <laughs> Okay, well, I needed my health back anyway, so that's fine.
get my health back. I think this is the last token in the level. Yeah, 57. I mean, it's a very weird number to end on, but yeah. Because there's a bear here, and then there's, um... There's a Galaxian. Pack Bears, I think are those guys' names. <laughs> This is like almost an identical, um, like, this is pretty much identical to the other maze from earlier. <laughs> I mean, at least in terms of looks, it looks pretty damn similar. Oh, um, fucked again. That's pretty much the only way I'm going to be dying is when I get, like, closed in on by Pinky and Blinky. It's, like, pretty much the only, th the only way I'll die. But it's pretty easy to dodge them otherwise. By the way, I don't know, I, I'm not sure if I'll do a playthrough of Pac-Mania. And, um, in this game, because <laughs> I had a playthrough of Pac-Mania going in, um, in what you call it. Mm. I had a playthrough of it going in, what you call it, uh, Pac-Man, Pac-Man Museum Plus or whatever it was called. I never, I never really went back to that game, but I did do that. I did, I did play that game. Where do these go? Do these- oh. Whoops. Completely missed the spring. And that's what- I'm not sure what's with the little, like, pop slash clip that happens whenever you spawn a level. A bit weird, in it? So that's just for getting back. But I wanna- I wanna take a little shortcut, you know? And get back over to where I wanna be. I think if I just jump down here and get back there. Yeah. This all is only taking a while because I went the wrong way and I wasn't sure which way is the correct way. They don't really make it obvious. They, they, they just it's just kinda like, oh you go here or you wanna go here. You know, they have both they both have checkpoints. Which doesn't really help. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> yeah, shit post 64. You remember that? You remember that ROM hack, Elijah? Shit post 64 is pretty damn good. Yeah, where well, you, you can hurt me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> Take a dump. So I believe that's 100% on that level. Unless I missed something obvious. Nope, I got everything. You can tell I got everything because it, it'll say one out of two bonus tokens. So now that we have the longest level so far, 135 for the time trial. It's not that long, but it still feels that way. Oh, okay. I just went right over the clock. Hmm, weird. Nope, not going for that clock. <laughs> this one, this one might be a bit closer than the other ones have been. That's four whole seconds. That's the great thing about this level is, um... Oh, the clocks, um... Like, the timer, you can just keep pausing the shit out of the timer. 
Oh, and I think if you also kill the ghosts, you get plus four seconds there as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to be worth it, though. Thirty-five. Yeah, no check. You get no checkpoints in this. I think we'll be fine, though. I still got like twenty seconds left. That part right there is where most of the time is going to be from. Okay, I'm glad I grabbed that wedge then. Four seconds. If I, if I was any slower than that, I wouldn't have gotten it. Yeah, it's not, the time isn't that bad. 131 compared to 135. So now we have 59 tokens. Alright, now we have Butane Pain. Which, I feel, I feel like this is where the challenge really starts to get going. But I mean, the music's a banger, so what do I care? Anyways, you can hit this switch to uh, spawn a crap ton of fruit. if there's anything here. Nope. Yeah, I, I, I quite like the gimmick of this little. Have you had to worry about, like, there being fire coming out of all the, all the, like, trees? I'm trying to grab this damn token. <laughs> Getting all the fruits isn't exactly ethical. Or what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't feel very natural. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> like, you really have to go out of your way and jump for them, you know what I mean? There's like three tokens just right here at the start of the level. Those are pretty... Those are kind of easy to miss, though. If you're not careful. Oh yeah, and I guess now I can see if I missed any tokens or not. We already have three out of eight of the tokens. They're all here, like, right at the start of the level. And I think you get a checkpoint. Yeah. Wish the camera would work here with me a little bit. Oh, yeah, you can also go up here. Do I have... I don't have any apples yet, though. Hey, apple. Oh, yeah, here's our first introduction of those spiders. I forget what they have. I don't, I don't know if they have a name or not, but I just remember those guys very fondly. They show up in this level, and they show up a crap ton in um, the Lava World for some reason. <laughs> I think I once played this game on an arcade box thingy, which built in controllers in a playroom. <laughs> the spinning animation. Sounds like you got like a plug and play or something weird, I don't know. <laughs> What's up with the spinning animation, Elijah? Oh yeah, we got another um another metal thingy. Oh yeah, I don't know if there's any there's not really much indicator, but you can jump down here. And this is how you get to, this is how you get to the grinding, this is the lives grinding spot right away. <laughs> Metal Pac-Man, Funny. Anyways, here's where I used to grind all my lives as a kid. You can come here every time and get eight lives, just for free. Y you don't even have to do anything. And you're forced to come here for 100% anyways. Anyways, I think I need to go backwards in the level because I missed the, um... 
This is like the point of no return for the level. But I need to go um here. I need to go back to that. I need to go back to the start of the level because they have um Oh boy. Yeah, I need to go back because there's um what you call it? The apple at the start of the level. I'm just gonna roll down here real quick. Unfortunately take a bit of fall damage. Could have been some other 3D pack, man. It was on plug and play. GameCube arcade box things that McDonald's used to have. What, you mean a kiosk? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't go to. I don't remember the, them having that at McDonald's. <laughs> Anyways, look how cool. Look how cool this maze looks. I know it's not much different from the other ones, but. It's still pretty damn cool. <laughs> Peak McDonald's gameplay right here. Getting all the pack dots in maze is just, it never, it never feels that like, Naturally, you just kind of have to like take a, bit, a bunch of different pathways. But well, maybe that's why it's called a maze, you know. Yeah, as I, as I was expecting, this game is still just an incredibly fun time. Even when going for a hundred percent. You think the completionist will ever do a video on this game? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> he's been he's been um, accused of charity fraud, so I guess we'll never know. Man, you guys will wow, like all you guys are like right next to each other. What the fuck? Here, I'm just gonna wrap around if that's okay. I don't usually wrap around too much, but it, it's helpful. Oh, am I, am I miss- I'm missing some. Where the fuck did I miss pack dots? Oh, down here. Okay. <laughs> wow, what a great way to die. Well, that's really bad design. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking spawn back in, and the damn spider kills you. Well, anyways, you know what? Since I'm here, I'm gonna go get those eight lives again. <laughs> Since I died. Oh, and they just respawn. You don't even have to hit the switch again. Yeah, so this is where I used to grind all my lives as a kid. I never watched The Completionist, I only know him because he was in some of PBG's videos, and he was once on a Game Grumps, and his LEGO Star Wars video. I mean, yeah, I like I like his videos. It's just, you know, unfortunately the videos kind of hit differently once you know that, you know, he, you know, he pissed off a bunch of his viewers with charity fraud, which is too bad. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm pretty indifferent to the whole charity fraud thing. I'm very, I'm very indifferent. I just don't care. But it's just a shame because now, now his reputation is fucked, and now um, he just hasn't been making videos because you know he knows damn well he messed up. I mean, he 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 he's, he definitely he's definitely inspired me to complete a lot of the games that I enjoy. So there is that. But yeah, we're we're never we're never gonna get that Mega Man uh that Mega Man X3 New Game Plus video, unfortunately. <laughs> or maybe we will. I don't know. But. Oh wow, another checkpoint. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll get the checkpoint after I collect that melon. Oh, by the way, we got another repeat section. <laughs> I basically give all my YouTubers after Sky this Minecraft got outed. Oh, yeah. That also happens. Every every YouTuber you grew up with, it just they just become a terrible person. But I mean, hey, that's that's, that's being human, I guess. Who knows? Maybe I will get outed as a terrible person someday. I don't know. And again, I don't really have an, enough of a following to become outed. <laughs> that's the thing. Only the only like the really famous purse. Only the really famous people get out it just because you know they have influence. And if you know if you have an influence, then you don't want to you don't want to be an influencer when you have a bad rep. You know, I think that's I think that's what what goes on in people's heads. It's like oh, this guy has like this guy has like influence over like three million people. We gotta shut him down. You know. Oh wow, another checkpoint. Oh yeah, there's this. This is pretty easy to miss. Oh yeah, they're still randomly just putting pack bears inside boxes. Oh yeah, there's bats. Killing bats is not um, ethical at all. I think the only way to kill the bats is to flip them, which is kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's very odd. You can only kill the bats with your flip kick. Oh, or I could just die. <laughs> <sighs> and the disappointing thing is that when people get outed, it's always like the exact same thing every time. So it gets really, I get really sick of hearing about it. I, I've talked about this on a Koki Hooker stream or a Tetris stream probably once. But it's always the exact same accusation. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, he 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 touched little kids. You know, it's always that one. Why is it always that one? It's just... That's the one that people always bring up. <laughs> like you, you just get you, it just gets to a point where you get really sick of hearing it. <laughs> oh, is there anything down here? I don't think there's anything down here. They literally just copy and pasted one of the trees from one of the levels and just decided not to put anything down there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything there. I don't think the bats actually give anything. And those bats, I think they those bats, they show up later on in the final world, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool that they get to reprise there. So the question is, do I have all the tokens? Yeah, I got 67. So here, here's what I was talking about, where they just reused, they reused level designs from the second, from the second level, the previous one. Literally the exact same ending. <laughs> I don't really mind. <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard about the whole Chris Tyson thing. Fucking Zack and everybody wouldn't show up about it. <laughs> even though I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who the fuck Chris Tyson is. That's the thing. It's like, hey, look, this person that you don't know is, uh, <laughs> they got outed. Why am I able to run, roll under this thing? It seems very weird. This level is gonna take a little bit. Alright, so you wanna skip that? You wanna skip that little, uh, Blue switch. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Actually, I don't think I want to do that. Oh yeah, and if you if you um if you butt bounce here, you roll down really fast. Actually, going a lot better than I thought. <laughs> oh yeah, it is possible to damage boost all the way through that, but I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you don't know Chris Tyson either. Yeah, great. Now you know how it feels. I think, um, I don't think this does anything, actually. Oh, you can, yeah, you could just do a sequence break there. <laughs> That's right. You So you are actually supposed to go back, but I just sequence breaked the level. Whatever, I'm gonna take the damage, I don't care. I don't know what the time trial for this one. I think it's like 153 or something, but I skipped like a portion of the level, so I think I'm gonna get it regardless. By the way, you guys wanna hear about something kinda wild? So I was trying to I was trying to edit um Toho Soku music. And one time I like so poorly looped the music that my graphics card just died when i opened the game <laughs> isn't that crazy i don't know why that happened so i had to dead ass reset my computer anyways banger music <laughs> i'm gonna just wait for this guy to approach me Oh yeah, I think you can actually roll into this guy. Alright, approach me. Makes a very satisfying noise. Oh, okay. Alright, come here. The great thing about this first boss is you can, um, you can either roll into him. You can roll into him, or you can, um, oh boy. You can roll or jump on him, so you have the option, which is good. Bro, why, why? Why can't I hit him? I guess rolling is better. <laughs> Okay. That's a great death. Oh, he's dead. Also, you can do this. That's pretty funny. <laughs> you can do something. You can do that really funny thing right there. Where you just roll, and it makes a funny noise, but you can't actually do anything there. Anyways, we have 69 tokens. You know, we could go check back at, um, Pack Village. So guess what, guys? I already have one-third... I already have one-third of, um, the tokens already. Where does Funi come from? Oh, I made it up. <laughs> it doesn't come from anywhere. I made it up. <laughs> And now, and now people just hate it whenever I say it because it annoys them. So yeah, so we have, we have access to the jukebox already, which by the way, it spoils the rest of the levels. So yeah, that's fun, isn't it? It's called the Tiki Tiki Rap. I forgot all the worlds actually have names. Raising Rain, Tiki Tiki Rap, un Under the Sea, Midnight Scare. Pac-Land intro. So we can play Pac-Man. We need 31 more tokens to play Pac-Mania, the goaded game. Pac-Attack. We can watch, um, we can play Pac-Maze games. That's basically the maze that you've unlocked. And you need 1100, 111 more tokens to play Miss Pac-Man. It's a game we shouldn't mention. We're not allowed to mention that game. That game's copyrighted. But yeah, I'm gonna 
go back to the map. <laughs> so th that's the arcade. I spent a lot of time in there as a kid. That place is hella fun. But anyways, we're gonna start the snow world. The snow world is, um... These levels are a lot more annoying to 100%. And also, um, there's this guy. He tells you, like, hey, dumbass, uh, this place is snowy and slippery. This is probably where I'm gonna start dying a lot more, though. Because these levels are annoying. <laughs> Also, you can go down here at the start for a free token. And I think that's everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's good to know there's a token down there, though. I mean, this first level isn't that bad, but it's the, it's the next two levels that I really hate. Like, I can- I think I 100 percent this level not too- it wasn't too hard. Oh, yeah, and also those guys. You have to run- you have to ram into them. And then they- you can jump on them. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool enemies, honestly. Oh, yeah, and there's just a crap ton of free fruits here. <laughs> Yeah, they, they knew that they knew the spring mechanic was good because they bring it back for the next world. That guy has an extra life. Anyways, um, here's the only other time the shrinking power up gets used. It gets used in this area, and this is the optional area that I mentioned earlier. You have this big box. With a big, with a, oh, well he was big, but now he's not. And you get your Galaxian here. We have the silly, we have the silly ghosts. Again, it is really tempting to play the, um... It is really tempting to play the PS2 version of this game, just because it is tougher. I might honestly do a little play- I might honestly do a playthrough of the PS2 version alongside this one, just to show what's different about it. Because this game isn't that long. And I have the PS2 version on standby. I didn't- I didn't delete it, I kept it, just in case. So maybe for the next episode, we can do a- we can, we can start our playthrough of the PS2 version. I'll show you what's different about it. Because I'm pretty sure I have the Black Label version. I mean, it says version 1.0, so I'm pretty sure that's the base game. Before they revised it and added all the easy stuff that made it easier. I mean, it won't be too much different, but still, it's gonna be exciting, I think. I don't know, there's something really cool about making the ghosts kill you in one hit. I don't know why. I feel like they arbitrarily changed that just because people were complaining about the difficulty, but I could be wrong about that. Oh yeah, and I'm out of tea, so I'm gonna have to start drinking juice instead. This guy gives me a second life. Alright, so this part level is easy, but did this, this right here, starting now, this is when it this is when it gets tough. This is the this is the part of the level that sucks. Because we have some of the jankiest jumps in the game. Because um Pac-Man doesn't always he doesn't always get all the pack dots. And also, you have to do, like, s like perfect cycles and stuff. It's kind of annoying. And also, doing a, um... 
Doing like a time trial of this will also probably be tough as well. I mean, I'm getting pretty lucky with the- I'm getting pretty lucky with this. Well, thanks for that free token, I guess. Oh, and they got snowball ghosts. Oh, and some snowballs I can't avoid. Another free life, I'll take that. Oh, there's another guy in here. And he has a token. Anyways, we're gonna roll over here. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, Pac-Man doesn't control very well on ice, <laughs> as you can see. As you can see, it's very hard to control him. Well, it's not too bad, but still. It still isn't that bad, honestly. It's not as bad as I remember it being. I'm just, I'm just strangely having a much better time than I ever would have as a kid. Oh yeah, these jumps kind of suck. Getting this one fucking pack dot is so annoying. Because you have to... Because here's the thing. These ice, these ice blocks... Oh, also that can happen. The fish can just fuck you over. If he feels like it. Yeah, he could just decide to say fuck you. For no reason. I hate that. Why does he do that? Those fish are really fucking annoying. I mean, at least I got an extra life every time I die. These guys really don't go that far. Yeah, so now, now unfortunately I have to recollect all this stuff since I died. And that's where that's where things get really annoying, is when you keep dying over and over, and then you have to recollect everything. <laughs> so you definitely do not want to die. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna 100% the GameCube version, and then I'm going to, um... I'm just gonna do a, you know standard playthrough of the PS2 version. Yeah, you see how annoying it is to get this damn pack dot? Why is it so, like, why is it so damn specific? Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Oh yeah, this part fucking sucks, dude. Like, this one damn pack dot is so hard to get. And it's really hard to see the damn fish, too. I jumped over it again. Oh, and also that can happen. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not fun when that happens. Which means, guess what? You have to do this all over again. Yeah, now, now, this is like when the difficulty spike happens. Because now I'm dying a bunch because of the game's jank. I, I mean, honestly, it might just be worth it to go grab the, um, the checkpoint. Like, if there is a checkpoint anywhere nearby. Keep in mind, this is the this is the best level in this world. <laughs> the other two fucking suck. Well, I mean, debatably, because this is the only like normal level. The other levels are kind of just they have their weird they have their own weird gimmick, which I don't really care for too much. One of them is a Crash Bandicoot level, and the other is just weird gimmicks. So that's probably the easiest way to do that. I feel like I feel like to get these damn pack dots is really specific. Like th this, these ones aren't too bad. You de you absolutely do not want to um you do not want to um 
like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the checkpoint first <laughs> before I be before I even think about doing this. I'm gonna get like a bunch of this stuff first before I grab the checkpoint, because thankfully the checkpoint keeps your progress. So I'm gonna grab all this stuff before I even think about getting those those few pack dots. Okay, so like every now and then you can you'll just sometimes you'll just sometimes not run into this guy. Yeah, that guy's an extra life. Okay, now I'll grab the checkpoint. I'm gonna go back for those few extra pack dots. These two that are like really obnoxious to get. Especially because the damn fish is in the way. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Still, though, I make my point. It's pretty nasty to get these pack dots. Th these damn pack dots are, like, the, the reason I never 100%ed this level as a kid. At least, not immediately. I didn't even realize that, like, the, um... They have, like, those icebergs, they have, like, cycles and weird shit like that. Okay. Anyways, we got a, we got a little fun section where we gotta eat ghosts. It's good, because we're, al we're almost done with this level, so it's not too bad. The, the worst of it is almost over. Oh, almost fucked up there. Yeah, you can just skip around this. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, 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 bad. <laughs> bad, very bad. I want to get that last pack dot before I get the checkpoint, you know? I guess it probably would be fine just to get the iceberg. You wanna like get it on the, the final cycle like that. Okay. It's, it's like so stupid. He's just he's just slowly running on the ice. There we go, I got the checkpoint. Actually I think it might just be better to die, honestly. Yeah, because I got the checkpoint, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Look at that, another one. Anyways, you can just roll around this. And I think there are have I gotten all have I gotten all the pack dots? I can't really tell. I think I did. Unless I missed the- unless I missed something. Oh yeah. Oh, and I missed the token. Great. <laughs> I gotta go back for that. Okay, now we have all the pack dots. Uh-oh. Gotta, I gotta- I gotta- I gotta get back up there. For some reason, it didn't grab the token. I don't know why. Yeah, you go so fast, though. That's what I think that's one of my favorite things about this game is like how damn like how damn good the like momentum is. And you have to—I don't remember if you have to kill this guy. I don't even know if he drops anything. Oh, he drops the last token. <laughs> well, there you go. So I think that was Ice River Run. Which isn't bad. Alright, we 100% of that level. It has 333 dots exactly. Oh yeah, I have to watch that cutscene every time you reload the level. Oh.
Oh. Oh, if you if you get any if you get any points, you have to re the the time the timer disappears. That's really weird. I forgot about that. Anyways, the idea with this level is you want to roll as much as possible. The more you roll in this level, the better. Oh, and I fucked up. God damn it. <laughs> damn, bro. Chill. Bro is really aggressive. Oh, fucking fish, dude. Hate the hate those guys. They're so, like, needlessly aggressive. For freaking fish, man, I tell you. Oh, and here's the snowballs that are almost impossible to avoid half the time. Didn't make that. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, make it. There we go. Oh, yeah, and ghosts also give you time if you eat them. Which is pretty great. I forgot- I already forgot what the time trial for this level was. But, I think I'm gonna beat it. Time trial complete. Oh, I did not beat the record. What's the record for that one? 114. Oh, damn, they want you to get a 114 on that. So I need to get 113 or better on that one. Grab this this pack dot here. So I want to get the four seconds from the ghost. Nice. I'll, I'll damage boost. I never seem to get that. We'll reset after that. Goofy ad dash. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's just stock. I mean, I it, it's stock sound effects. A lot of this game uses stock sound effects, which I I, I don't know. There's something I love about it. Oh fuck! I really love the uh, stock sound effect usage in this game for some reason.
Oh, not getting that too, I guess. Wow, bro really caught up to me. Freaking fish, dude. Also, I have no health left, so that's not good. <laughs> it took way too much damage. Oh no! No, oh, fuck! God damn it. Yeah, I'm doing Pac Man World. Uh, bro, I was going places. Yeah, I do like some perfect ass jumps there. I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing this time trial, which is actually surprisingly tough. water this time. Oh my god, that guy almost shot me into the water. That could have been really bad. I think we're about to get to the end here. We have to get a 113. There we go. That was actually, that was actually tough. That one was a lot more challenging. See, I told you World 3 is more challenging. <laughs> Goofy ad <-ass> dash. <laughs> yes. Just like Elijah said. So now we have 79 tokens. And now we have, um... This is where the game starts to kind of go downhill, is this level right here. I mean, this level isn't really that bad. But this is kind of when I feel like the game... Loses a bit of quality in its level design. I mean, for one, this level sucks because you can't miss anything. If you miss a single dot, a single fruit, you you have to die and reset, which is not fun. There's only one good part of this level, and it's in the middle of the level. <laughs> It doesn't start out too offensive, though. This little is pretty fun to speedrun, though. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to do that later. Oh boy. Yeah, I already, I already died. That pack dot's really weird. <laughs> the sound effect? What, you mean this sound effect? <laughs> that sound? Bro, why are you shooting your snowballs at me? So I'm gonna be replaying this section a lot, because I'm probably gonna be missing, like, a few... I might be... I, I, it's, it's mostly the ice that dicks you over, though. If you, if you get really bad with the... If you really get really bad physics with the ice, you'll just end up missing the fruit. Pac-Man's going for his jog. Okay, there we go. As long as you just keep holding down, you shouldn't miss anything. 
Oh boy, give me that. Jesus Christ, I'm almost dead. <laughs> okay, there we go. And thankfully you get a checkpoint after that. Yeah. Pac-Man did like a little screech. You're in World 3? Yeah, this is this is the third world of the game. D he has like a cold animation, that's cool. I never really knew it, I never really noticed that. Alright, here comes the snowball again. <laughs> this is why this is why I said this is the Crash Bandicoot level. <laughs> Cause you're literally like running away towards the screen. And yet, something chasing you. All right, and here's the here's the good part of the level. This part's good because you actually it's actually part like it's actually platforming and stuff. The part that isn't the Crash Bandicoot part is the good part. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I like Crash Bandicoot honestly. There are um, there's six worlds in this game. So there's uh, the ice world, which I'm on right now. Then there's the lava world, the the underwater world, and then the ghost world. And the low point of the game is definitely the lava and water worlds. And the ice world kind of, like, nudges itself into that bad part. And then strangely, it gets better with the ghost world. The ghost world is honestly chill. And th this level is kind of where I feel like the game starts to dip in quality a bit, because I don't really like the gimmick of this level too much. Yeah, I'm halfway through the game. But here's the thing. The first, like, two and a half worlds are really easy, but then it gets really hard for no reason once you get, like, to the ice world. That's when it gets really hard to 100% the game, and that's when it's going to take me a while to actually get everything. And I just—they just get like a crap ton of fruits to you for free in this level, which is really funny. I mean, food me. Oh, it's fucking snowballs, bro. Oh, and also there's a—you can roll up this wall and get like an apple. Well, you're supposed to be able to, but I can't seem to get it for some reason. There you go. I'm gonna go for this checkpoint. This guy has a strawberry. Also, there's a one-up here. But that guy pushes you off. <laughs> you watched a playthrough of Crash Twin Sandy. I've heard that one's decent. Oh yeah, right, I'm supposed to kill this guy. This guy has a missing strawberry. Because they proved early on that the enemies can have fruits. These are some of the only enemies that have fruits in the game, to my knowledge. That guy has a token. Oh, we got 25,000. Yeah, so you do get a, you do get an extra you do get an extra life for 25,000 points. I wasn't wrong about that. This game is surprisingly good draw distance. Alright, so here's the part we don't want to fuck up. We want to get make sure we get both these fruits. How do you get, oh, I think I see how we're supposed to get those. Oh boy, <laughs> almost died. How the fuck did that snowball hit me, bro? Yeah, anyway, there, there's some pack dots for free. I'm gonna kill these guys before I um get the checkpoint. I'm gonna wait for him to come over here. Man, 
and you have a token, okay. I'm just making sure there's no, like, hidden fruits, because... One of the reasons I didn't 100% this level as a kid is because of all the weird spots they hid fruits in. And also the camera, like, sometimes gets stuck on trees. Anyways, there is a secret down here. Well, I died, I missed. Don't worry, missed. <laughs> Activision issues. Do you drop lives now? Since, he, since I got your token? Nope, he just doesn't drop shit. Hey, I mean, seeing Crash would have been nice. I think this is where the Galaxian is. Uh oh. No, there's no Galaxian in here. Oh, the Galaxian's right there. The, I got knocked into the maze. <laughs> That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go for a piss break after this level. And then we'll try out the time trial. I don't know if you get anything for getting a high score in these, uh, these mazes. But sure, I'll go for the orange. I don't know if you, maybe you get something for like 5,000 points, I don't know. I never really noticed as a kid that, um... You get an extra life for 25,000 points in a level. It's a very specific number. <laughs> you probably get another one for 50,000 if I had to guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, then again, Toho, Toho's way of getting extra lives doesn't make much sense either. Like, 10 million, 20 million, 40 million, and 60 million. I mean, those numbers actually make a little more sense, though. So. Oh yeah, and this guy is right here to be a dick. Damn, I get back and Zeppi sends me sauce. The pack is back. Well, he is now, because I just got back. I kind of forgot there were cherries in this level. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up on, like, the worst part of this level, probably. <laughs> Which is right here. This final section. This is where the level really gets bad. Well, for one, you have to dodge icicles and outrun. Uh, be, you play Crash Crandicoot again. Yep. I think I'm probably gonna end the stream after this level because I really don't feel like doing the um, next level. Because the next level is just not fun. So I might save that for next time, and then on my future self, I'll have to deal with that one. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, like, stop and butt bounce. Let's see how this goes. I really have to use the bathroom anyway, so... Oh, I want that cherry, man. Come on, give me that. Oh, bro, come on. Mmm. Can I save state, actually? I know, th this might be a really weird place to end the stream. But, I kind of want to just end it here for today and finish this level off next time, because 
I really have to use the bathroom. I don't want to keep you guys wait waiting like 15 minutes for the like the rest of this level. So I might just pick this level up next time and we'll we'll finish it and do the rest of World 3. But yeah. Either way, this game is really fun and I am enjoying it. So I'll be uh I'll probably do this game some more on um, Monday maybe. Monday morning maybe, because I know Sunday I'm gonna be busy. So yeah. Anyways, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. It's going to be fun. So, see you then.